Hi, welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video guide is going to be all about pruning hydrangeas. And a number of you have been in touch with me on social media to ask when is the best time to do this and how exactly should you prune your hydrangeas. So today I'm going to show you. Come on, let's get cracking. Now behind me here we've got a mop head hydrangea and those are the really traditional ones that you'll see in images and in magazines. They've got that really big blousy flower head. So you've got mop heads and you've got lace caps and lace caps are a little bit more delicate and kind of look like they've got flowers within flowers. But both of these are pruned in exactly the same way and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as with all pruning you're going to need a clean sharp pair of secateurs. Now the best time to prune hydrangeas is late winter and here in the UK it's February usually. And the best way to tell if your hydrangea is ready for pruning is that you will see all the seed heads have dried up and then you've got new bright green buds bursting out. As soon as you see those you know it's time to prune. Now what we're aiming to do with this hydrangea behind me is to cut off all the old growth from last year which is usually the spent flower heads and then take these brown stems back to the next set of buds. We're also going to thin this one out to give it a bit more air and light and then we'll get a far better show of flowers this year. Because if I was just to leave this bush as it is, it's going to get really congested, all the new growth is going to get tangled up with all those old seed heads and it's going to look a bit tatty. So what I'm going to do with this hydrangea is to prune off all these old dried dead seed heads and take it back to new green growth. I'm also going to take up probably a quarter of the oldest stems which will reinvigorate the plant and help send out new shoots. As with all pruning cuts, you want to cut on an angle away from the next bud with a sharp pair of secateurs. So for this example, just there. And then again, I'm probably going to cut that one off there, away from the bud. There we go. So as I go along I'm also thinning out the shrubs so that it's got loads of light and air because what you don't want is a really congested shrub that's going to struggle to flower and look really messy during those beautiful summer months when it's putting on all its flowers. So I think I'm about done with this one now. I've removed a lot of old dead material, crossing branches, stuff that's died back. And what that's going to do is allow the plant to breathe a bit more and send up new shoots. If you have a look at the very bottom, you can already see new shoots down there from last year's growth. So I'm going to give it a bit of a tidy up around the base as well. And then that's pretty much it. Good to go. So there we have it, my super easy guide on pruning hydrangeas. Now if you're a bit scared of pruning like a lot of people are, I want to give you some reassurance in that it's really difficult to kill most plants through pruning. So give it a go and even if you cut something off and then think, ooh, blimey, maybe I shouldn't have done that, it will grow back. Your plants will thank you for pruning, it's helping them form the best shape they can, cutting away dead wood that otherwise will slow down and restrict the plant. So pruning really is in your best interests. If you need more guidance and help on pruning, I've got a whole playlist here on the Garden Ninja channel all about pruning, from very beginner pruning cuts all the way to some quite expert pruning guidance. I've been Garden Ninja. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell so that you get notifications of all my guides, and I'll be bringing you loads of garden design, hints, tips and hacks over the next year to help you make your garden awesome. Happy gardening.